good morning we are in session 24 of the course and we have got very few word families left so the combination of ow two sound patterns of that low and down uh, can you read out uh, the first two lines arrow below bestow blow borrow bow bowl crow okay elbow fellow fellow flow follow glow grow follow okay no low mellow minnow mo narrow own pillow rainbow row shallow show slow snow so good sparrow swallow throw tomorrow toe window yellow so this is one sound of ow o the other sound of ow is ow okay allow bow bowl brow clown cow crowd crown okay you, here you see what is this bow and what is this bow okay so bow is that uh, long thing from which you shoot an arrow and bow is this move okay by which you greet somebody okay okay next down dowry drown and down flower fall grow gown gown which you which somebody can wear okay ground how how now how order power power okay rowdy tall tall towel towel down wow wobble wow okay um any interesting word quick meanings bowel uh, related to uh, digestive uh, system tract to to oh uh, if you tie a uh, rope with a boat and then drag it that is to uh, or another thing is there that after uh, um, cultivating uh, a land a piece of land for 6 years for the 7th year you leave it uh, untilled so you are leaving it fallow for that year in order to rejuvenate its uh, fertility prowl prowl ghat um, laga karna ki jab aayega to turant hamla karoge mino small fish in some game if there is a new entrant uh, then they are called minos uh, who can be defeated by any team right so ow is also over we have uh, uh, one uh, vowel word family still remains that is boy oy and then some very small families uh, which uh, do not deserve a name okay very small uh, yes, just read out from top. Allow. Alloy. Alloy. Uh, annoy. Boy. Convoy. Coy. Decoy. Deploy. Destroy. Employ. Enjoy. Envoy. Joy. Loyal. Good. Uh, what is alloy? Uh, mixture of. Yes, uh, mixture of uh, two or more metals. Steel is an alloy for that matter. Yeah. Oyster, loy, royal, royal, royalty, sepoy, soya, toy, viceroy, voyage. Okay. Some um, vowel pair combinations uh, have so few words in that uh, that uh, we did not uh, give them special names. Okay. Read this one. Genii, radii, skiing. Okay. Genii, radii. This is one sound, and skiing. That is another sound. Continue. Duum vire. Duum vire. Presidium. Radium. Vacuum. 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 Okay. Next. A E. A 
Edges. Edges. Algae. 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 Aerota. But it is aorta. Aorta. Correct. Aorta. Aorta. Cacao. Uh, Cacao. Cacao. Chaos. Chaos. Gaol. Gaol. G O A L is goal. G A O L is gaol. Gaol means jail. Yes. Nouns. Nouns. Pharaoh. 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 The old uh, Egyptian king. What is iota? The big channel of blood that comes out of the heart to supply fresh blood to the body is called iota. The Hindi or Sanskrit name is self explanatory that is Mahadhamani. You have arteries, no? So, iota is the master artery. Duo. Myon, Kyo, Kuo, Kuo, Kota, 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 Vacuole, Vit, Virtuoso, Virtuoso, Liquor. What is the meaning of Virtuoso? Virtuoso. Virtuoso. Expert, yes. Okay. Any uh, interesting word for quick meaning? Age is, is actually very commonly used word. Uh, uh, when uh, you conduct something, uh, under the protection and encouragement of somebody or some organization, then you say under the ages of umbrella kind. Uh, a group of two. Yes, muon is muon is a quantum particle. Okay, so word families are over. Okay. Now we come to some other topics. Uh, we have studied a lot of verbs and some verbs we have uh, studied uh, in detail uh, do, be and have. Okay. And of course, tell and call we involved as uh, examples of some syntactic structures. Okay. Uh, you might know that uh, verbs quite often um, take peculiar meanings in different contexts. Okay. And the most notorious verb for that uh, kind of activity is get. See how its meaning changes. Read the first uh, line. I got a quote from my sister. Here got means received. Okay. Can you get uh, can, can. Can you get that bottle from me? Here get does not mean receive. It means that I am here, that bottle is there and I am requesting somebody to get that for me that is pick it up bring it and give me okay so here the meaning is fetch or bring okay did you get the meaning of his comment here the meaning of get is understand okay so you in a way you receive if you understand okay he got a cold last week he got a cold as if it is something which is worth getting okay so he was affected okay with a cold. We will get up early to get ready. We will get up. Get up together means wake up. Okay. And this get is basically be. It is not that we are getting something which is called ready. Okay. We are being ready, right? When we say get ready, we actually mean be ready. Okay. You do not get anything in getting ready. They go they got off the train at the same station. Got off. Okay. So, exit from. The robbers got away with the cash. Got away. Escaped. Okay. He will not get over this shock easily. Get over. Overcome. It was difficult to get through this test. Get through. That is pass. Cross. We are getting together this weekend. Getting together. That is having a meeting. Okay. Try to get hold of the defaulters. Get hold of. Catch. So catch or identify. Even if we really do not catch, it, it, suppose we are trying to get hold of some particular kind of verb, 
okay. So then basically we identify it, okay. This confusion of meanings really gets me. So these terms are baffles, okay. So peculiar kinds of meanings and many more meanings get has some on its own and some with some other word after that off away over like that some other uh, word like that and some peculiar meaning. So with other verbs also such things happen. Okay. So these kind of things can be learned from some suitable lists, but that is not the typical way to learn them. The typical way to learn them is to read a lot okay. and of course listen, listen carefully when people speak. In the last session we saw phrases. In a typical phrase there are two parts. First there is a word which shows a relation and then a word which is a which is typically a noun okay. and if a noun comes then before that this might come or an article might come. Okay. So the this an article my indicative word my, his, this such kind of things may come or may not come. For example, uh, by teachers nothing between this relation marking word and this noun okay. of Ram nothing in between. Okay. So, so, that is also possible. So, two principal parts are there the second part is noun and the first part is a word which shows relations. So, today what we will do is that we will concentrate on this first part. Okay. relation markers. So, again for example just a minute. So, in in this box in the evening in my power like that by changing this thing you can have thousands of different phrases with in. Okay. So, similarly thousands of different phrases with on. So, apparently the stock of phrases is uh, infinite, okay. but if we concentrate on these um, words which mark the relationship then we can uh, capture a, a good amount of material in brief. So, let us look at those relation markers. Uh, just read out these uh, words one round, all of these words are similar, okay. they signify they indicate relations. Okay. In, at, on, into, inside, outside, under, over, through, Via, via, above, below, behind, before. Hmm. Uh, all these words are known to everybody. Yeah. So if a um, word comes which looks a little uh, funny, peculiar, then stop and ask. After, during, till, until. Make note after. that in until there is a single l. Many people write two l's. Okay, that's a mistake. Beside, besides. Ah, just a minute. Beside and besides are different. Beside means by the side of, okay, bagal me type, okay, and besides is apart from, except from. Along, opposite, across, between, among, out. Okay. Next, near, down, up, upon, around, about, by, of. Of, since, per, for, from, to, toward, towards, with, within, without, as, like, unlike, against, except, despite, beyond. Okay, there is a difference between with and within. Okay. According to. These are two word relation markers. Yes, according to. According to, because of, due to, next to, up to, out of, instead of, apart from, thanks to. Just a minute. Uh, up to are written separately, okay. two words. Okay. So, these are two words relation markers and uh, these are three words. Yeah. In front of, in spite of, in lieu of, with respect to. Okay. In spite of means the same thing as a single word which is despite. Okay. Fine. So, practice these things and any yes, 
between and among yes that is a good question um, between two people and among many people okay oh uh, mm, till and until there is a little uh, difference how do you uh, express that and difference there is a uh, yes jab tak ho or jab tak na ho uh, yes accordingly the rest of the sentence will have to accommodate yes yes uh, until you agree i am not going to move okay so that means after you agree i will move Okay. On the other hand, till you agree, I am your friend. So, after that, I will not be. Okay. So, as he said, jab tak ho, jab tak na ho, that kind of a difference. It is tricky. Okay. So, as I told you that uh, by taking these relation markers, so many together, so take one by one and put whatever is your favorite nouns after that and uh, get new phrases. So, you can construct hundreds of phrases. I am asking you to construct only 50. Okay. So, I am using those relation markers from the list uh, construct uh, another uh, list of now using those relation markers which did not appear in the earlier list of phrases, okay, which did not have any representation in the list of phrases that I showed you earlier. So, taking those relation markers construct phrases with them also. So, earlier I gave you a list of 50 and you constructed another list of 50 like that. Okay. So, you then have 100 phrases and 40 to 50 of them use them in the sentences that is the assignment. Okay. And while you do that um, preferably to the extent possible use the verbs from the current list which is running. Okay. So, in the previous session we had this third list. So, those sentences which you make to demonstrate the use of those phrases built by you and those phrases which are earlier I supplied in those sentences you need verbs right. So, as verbs you try to put verbs from this list okay, to the extent possible. Okay. So, maybe we should have some uh, practice and exercise fine ah durga uh, make a sentence with some word from the first line whatever sentence you like we uh, we borrow we borrow uh, we borrow a book books we borrow books from a library okay uh, fine somebody make a past tense of this i'm uh, sorry somebody make a, uh, make the passive form of this yes passive the same sentence we borrow books from a library yes books are borrowed uh, from uh, the by us from a library okay make a sentence with the second line of this water flows <laughs> that's a good one water flows some uh, more details water flows down the hill water flows down the hill okay now down the hill is a phrase okay down the hill is a phrase okay water flows down the hill okay in this uh, from this uh, take a word and with that before that try to put a relation marker and construct a phrase before this in the crowd yes in the crowd i had exactly the same thing in mind okay in the crowd okay uh, use this in the crowd in a sentence. 
I was standing in the crowd when something happened. Yeah, okay. You can have many of them. In fact, you can have beyond the crowd. Okay. This particular student tells things which go beyond the crowd. Okay, which has a meaning. Under the crown. Okay. Um, take the last line. Okay. And um, make another phrase. Some take some word, and before that, put a relation marker. And on the towel, on the towel you used. Okay, there were blood stains on the towel. There is a new face in the town. There is a new face in the town. There is a new face in the town. Yeah, very small town you are talking about. Yes. Maybe there is a new clown in the town. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. With the old ones, we um, we take the simple uh, words and make a lot of phrases as illustration. Okay. So, in this, the first itself, first word itself is a relation marker. About. Okay. Class. Let us construct uh, ten phrases with about. Okay, it will not be interesting because about this, about that, about something else. Okay, so tell one phrase with about. No, I I want only the phrase. No. About the subject. About him. About him, is one. Okay, fine. Take amount. Take amount and construct a phrase. Amounts to one rupee. No, no, no. No, something amount. You are constructing a phrase with a relation marker and then amount. With the amount. For the amount, okay. Take cloud and make a relation marker. Uh, make a phrase with that. Behind the cloud, above the cloud, under the cloud, okay. On the cloud, yes. Okay. Up above, in the cloud. Uh, no, in the cloud, in the cloud, okay. Doubt. In doubt, yes. With doubt. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. That's a good one. Okay. Or with some doubt. Okay. Uh, fountain. By the fountain. By the fountain, which actually means near the fountain. Okay. Beside the fountain, yes. Ground. Under the ground, under the ground, on the ground, okay. Hour, in an hour, okay, simplest, within an hour, okay, yeah, in an hour, within an hour, okay. So, when we say in an hour, we are not very serious or particular about the information. The task that we are talking about in an hour, and that may be perhaps accomplished. Uh, uh, in an hour roughly, but the seriousness is less. When we say within an hour, then we are uh, putting a little uh, sort of deadline kind of thing, yes. Okay. About an hour, about an hour will work almost near About an hour, uh, yeah, it is uh, uh, trying to mark the time um, a little more precisely. Not that I want the completion of the action within an hour. But uh, I want you to reach at a particular point about an hour from now when I will also reach. Okay, so that is the idea. South. Due south. Due south, yes. That means in the southern direction. Okay. In the southern direction is also a phrase. Okay. So in the direction is a phrase, in the southern direction is also a phrase. Okay. South, that is a word, that is not a phrase. Okay. 
towards south yes towards south it means the same thing ok. Oh, that yes there you are using south uh, in that sense southern area ok. Similarly, you can make a lot of them with routine ok in the routine according to the routine ok. Can you make some with famous? Are you trying? Can you make a phrase with relation marker and then famous? Are you trying? Famous is an adjective, so no question ok. So, till now I was supplying you nouns you were happily making ok. Now that I cheat you I give you an adjective you still try ok. So, do not try that ok. So, this is essentially the exercise that uh, take the relation markers and make some. Sir, uh, for the word 4 in a group of 4 it is the phrase. In a group of 4 is fine because of 4 is a phrase there for that matter ok which means of 4 people ok and in a group is another phrase yes 4 is otherwise an adjective, but here it is being it has been used as a noun ok. So, let us take some random and construct just one phrase or two phrases which are you know subject wise different from each other along with along. Along the road. Along the, along the, along the road. Along the road. Fine. One more. Along the line. Ok. Along the river also possible. Ok. Um, you can also say um, along the same argument ok opposite opposite yeah I am asking for a phrase now put something after opposite opposite to me opposite to me yes or just opposite and then something not no two that is another case no 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 opposite not as adjective. I want opposite to signify uh, relation. Opposite my house, ok. Across, across, the, across, across the, river. the river is the uh, first example that comes mind, comes into mind, ok. Across the country, yes, across the bridge, ok. Between, we have already seen many of them, ok. Among also, we have seen already. So, between two among many near near the bridge, near the bridge ok near the down down the, lane. down the lane. So, down actually quite often means along ok. So, down the lane even uh, down the rope or down the ladder down the steps actually mean along ok. Similarly, up also ok upon up. <laughs> Upon your arrival, yes, upon your arrival. Around? Around the path. Around the path, yes, or around the tree, the around the tree, around the corner. About? About we have done. By, of, many of them. Ok, off, O double F off. Off the train. Off the train, yes, this is a good example. Ok. Since and for we have done many from and to also we have done many of them ok. So, ok. So, we have more or less covered ok. According to? According to your wish. According to your wish. According to Hindi kya karte ho? Anusar. Yes, Anusar. What is the difference between two word and two word? Very slight difference, not much. I mean they are interchangeably used. So, and in some places two words fits better. Due to and because of both uh, mean something close, except with slight differences of usage. Another difference uh, could be uh, maybe uh, thought of that 
towards is always in the sense of relation marker toward can be adjective in certain cases toward and toward yes in that sense that. but towards is always a relation uh, marker toward also mostly relation marker yes what is the context when as is used and when because oh as is actually uh, quite confusing because as is used in so many places that in some sentences i have found that as fits but uh, as is likely to be misinterpreted by the reader because um, as means manner jaise in the jaise sense and as also means uh, uh, because in many places uh, because is very clear about its meaning okay but in many places as is used in the sense of uh, because it does not very clearly uh, uh, demarcate the reason uh, but it gives a loose plausible, plausible explanation okay or something some background reason which is obvious okay so because is a non trivial statement of reason or justification because is sharper so whenever um, there is a sharp uh, justification or reason it's uh, trouble free to use because in as sometimes uh, you leave scope for the reader to misinterpret okay so this exercise is um, actually simple and if you sit with enough time in hand then uh, you can do a good job at it okay so we stop here and continue next with session 25 okay thank you